Art is craft and craft is art. That's how I feel. If you're doing any kind of craft, you're an artist. Bottom line. I like so many different materials, working with different mediums, like drawing and painting. But clay just happens to be one of my favorites. Hand building is the oldest way of working with clay. Just kind of like have the material in your hand and then start exploring with it. Right now I'm focusing on not letting anything get too thin because then it can get a hole in it while you're smoothing out the inside. So I'm just being really careful to be like consistent about how I'm forming it. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's not what you want at all. Don't worry about the cracks on the bottom because they will be on the bottom. This piece is going to be the base of a bird menorah. A menorah is the candelabra that Jewish people put candles in and light them at Hanukkah time. I started making menorahs 25 years ago, if not longer, and it was like, wow. I love this, and people liked it too. It just started catching on. I just do different kinds of characters and animals and think that's just about all it's about, fantasy. As you can see, I'm forming the head. Just gently squeeze it a little bit. The thing about clay, you can always come back in and do more. Less can be more. Next, what I'm gonna do is scratch and score it, and that will keep it secured on there so it doesn't break off. I've got my slip, which is watered down clay, basically. It's the glue, and it helps give it a nice, secure area. No surprises. Well, we hope not. Doing candle holes with the dowel, press it in. Then I'm going to add a little embellishment on it. I'm going to make a little swirl. I pinch it out a little bit, roll it up, just really gently, just roll. Looks like a snail shell. Scratch and score. It's good to be generous with the slip, too. And then give it a little cleaning up. I'm going to put plastic over it now and make sure that it's completely dry before it's fired. I first saw Tom throwing on the wheel at UCLA. It was my last year there and it was his first. I was really fascinated with his work. It was just so refined and beautifully done. And I'm like, I want to paint on one of your pieces. And at first I was like, you want to work on my work? I'm, 
I like to embellish my own work. And I was like, oh, oops. I thought, oh, I won't bother him anymore. And one day, he had this beautiful teapot, and he came up to me and he went, here, you can paint on this. And I was like, yay. I made some pieces. She drew on them, I carved them, and it went on from there. Like the wedding goblet, and the celadon and the carving just came out perfect, just like the marriage. I'm working with underglazes for the colors. They're very similar to watercolor. You can put them on thinly or you can put them on opaque also. If you make a mistake, you can always take your sponge and just wipe it off and start over. I'm drawing in pencil. The pencil will not show when it's fired. It will burn off. On the bird, I'm putting the underglaze on thicker. I want it to be more of a solid color. It's not gonna be watery and loose, it's going to be layers of underglaze. I start feeling like it's finished when all the little images are outlined and I do clouds and stars in the sky and then it just seems like it's time. So it's glazed and fired in the kiln. Nice. Mm, wow. Whoa, that's totally different. Whoa. They tell people that these manures can be an heirloom. It's funny how we view family heirlooms. We think of something from your great-great-grandmother. Thinking of a piece I made as an heirloom is a little spooky, and it's a little different, a fish <laughs> manure, but it's very heartwarming. Well, yeah, the bird came out good, huh? Yeah. You feel like you want to leave a mark. Yeah. So I'm leaving part of who I am, part of my soul, here on the earth. My memory of Hanukkah is spinning the dreidel and laughing. My parents being in that moment with my two brothers and me. Here they are, freshly made latkes. My mom making latkes. Homemade. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Chag Yafei it was a real family time together where everybody was just happy. Baruch We kindle these lights and feel the gratitude of being together as a community, of being together as a people, being able to light a menorah on a night like this.